everybody welcome back this is part four of our series land navigation and this one um, we're going to use the sunlight to figure out our general location or to get a true reading of east west sun rises in the east sets in the west okay now we can use a method such as this this is going to require you know five things you're going to need one longer straight stick approximately length of your arm somewhat in that area you need three points of contact which we'll use three smaller sticks we'll just simply make you know cut them down and break them down however you got to to stick them into the ground the first way we're going to do this is we're going to stick this one straight in the ground straight up like that Okay, what this is going to do, let me move this back a little bit. What this is going to do, the sun's going to cast a shadow across this stick. We'll take one of our smaller sticks here, and we're going to, we're going to follow this shadow, and we're going to place this right at the very tip of that shadow, just like this. Well, now, when you set this and you're seeing that shadow, you want that shadow to be a straight line, straight as possible. You don't want to kick it off one way or the other. You just want a straight line, just like that. Now, at this point, we're going to wait 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're going to stick our next stick in there. So I'm going to pause this, and we're going to come back here in a few minutes and check this out. We waited you know, about 12 minutes now. Still got my shadow coming good. We, this is the first stick we put in. Now, we're going to take our second stick. We're going to go right to the tip of the shadow again. And we're going to place that right there. So four, you don't, you don't want a crooked line. You want a straight line down through there. Let me fix that stick a little bit. Get a straight line off my shadow right here. Stick two, we're gonna wait another 10 to 15 minutes. We'll put another one in. Okay, got my two in. Waited, it's been about another 12 minutes or so. So now I'm just simply gonna find the tip again. I'm gonna place my third stick. There again, straight line as you can get. Okay, so now, I have my line here for my three points of contact. I'm simply at this point, I'm going to take a stick and I'm going to lay this across this right here. That gives me a true reading of east and west. The west being your first one, the east being your last one. Because the sun rises in the east sets in the west so when you check this the sun's already heading west if the sun's already out it's already heading west so that's going to give me my east west line okay now i'm going to get you in a different angle here and we're going to check this with the compass and see how true this reading is okay so now you can see with the compass now keep in mind the compass is set with magnetic north so i have a true east west line I set that dial in have my three points contact keep my stick straight the true east west line okay now I'm going to show you how to find north south off of this okay so now this is the point I have my true east west line this is the point at where understanding the compass rows can give you your north south line everything is in a perfect straight lines dead center to dead center so if i take that into consideration and i place my place a stick like that right there and it's square and straight as it can be from eyeball that should give me a relatively close north south line We'll check it with the compass. Okay. 
There you go. North-south line right there. So what we've done here is just made a compass using the sun, a directional compass. I have north, east, south, west. There again, north, east, south, west. I uh, hope you're enjoying this series and find this educational, but uh, we got more to go. Um, I'm going to end this video with this. If you like our videos, like, share, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Mickey Wilson Bushcraft and Survival. Till the next one. That's it for this one.